Yo, what's going on? It's D May. You already know. Bring to you some NBA 2K15, my career. We're rocking against the Pacers today. A pretty tough squad, but it doesn't matter. We're still trying to put in work. And actually, this gameplay is post patch. We're finally post patch in my my career series. So you're going to see me playing a different type of way, but you're still going to see me yamming on fools, right? You're just going to see me putting in work still, but it's just going to be a little different. You see me going in for a floater right here. You're going to see some more mid range jumpers. That's just how you have to score now. But that's not going to stop me from dunking. You see, we're playing D right now. You know, I'm locking up. Oh, a piece of candy. Give me that. And I'm leaking out. We on this fast break. Spin cycle. Oh, yeah. We out here now. Bought some new dump packages. We out here throwing down the 360s. We out here booming. You know, I can't wait to get on more fast breaks. So you see me running a floppy play. I'm just testing out my teammates. They said patch three helped your teammates out a bit. And we're going to see. You see Andrew Wiggins out here knocking down a shot. But I knew Andrew Wiggins had that strange range. But I'm really just trying to test out Kevin Martin. Because Kevin Martin, he should be out here knocking down wide open threes. But pre-patch, this dude was building a house with all his bricks. And I can't have that going on post-patch. So I'm going to try a few different things in this gameplay. So bringing the ball up the court, it's 11 all. You see me trying to get past George Hill. It's a little bit tough, but I'm tossing out the up and under, passing over to Kmart. And of course, he's not going to do anything, so I'll take that. Buckets. You know if Andrew Wiggins showed off that strange range, I have to show off my strange range. So I had to get a three-pointer in right there. So I'm calling for this pick and roll. You know that's the go-to play. That leaves the lane wide open. Give me that. Who said you could have dunked post-patch? They lying to you. You see me dunking on Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews? What is he doing here? He out here getting that 40 piece. I don't know what went down in season two, but people are just all over the place. You have Jay Smooth on the Spurs. You have Wesley Matthews on the Pacers. I mean, why can't we pick up anybody? We didn't get anybody good. We had the same squad from season one, but it's all good, man. We still put it in work. You see, we get a board. I'm going to pass it over to Corey Brewer. I mean, he just missed the jumper, but he's wide open right now. You got to knock that down, Corey. There you go. I'm really liking my teammates post patch. Like, the first few games I played, I instantly noticed the difference. I noticed that everybody was knocking down more shots. They were pretty much making the shots they were supposed to make, and the CPU was missing the shots they were supposed to miss. Ooh! Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Throwing it down out here. Like I said before, pre-patch, post-patch. I'm going to still be throwing it down. I'm going to still be dunking on people. Doesn't really matter. So we're having a nice game. We're starting to break this lead while open. Look at Matthews on the wing. Give me that. Ooh, a piece of candy. Kmart, he's going to pick it up. Just take that all the way, Kmart. You got it. To be honest, I'm surprised Kmart made that dunk. Y'all really just don't understand how much Kmart misses in this game. I want to get this dude traded. I mean, it doesn't even matter who we pick up. We can pick up Jason Terry, and I'll be straight because at least I know Jason Terry will knock down those jumpers. So once again, pick and roll, leading to the easy dunk. I mean, I just, no chill. No chill in Minnesota, but D-Man, Christmas just passed. Do I care? No, it doesn't matter. Christmas, New Year's, Easter, on your birthday, you can get dunked on. You can always get this work. So running in, kicking out, they're playing some nice defense. I find Andrew Wiggins, but he's just going to stand there like a statue. But luckily, they bring the double team at the end of the shot clock, leaving A. Wiggins wide open. I told y'all last video, man. Andrew Wiggins out here splitting wigs. That's just what he does. Dude is an animal in season two. I cannot wait to get to season three because I know he's going to be a 90 overall. So you see me hitting that behind the back, going in for the slam, right over David West. Now, I really need to chill out, man. I need to get my jumper going. So that's what I'm going to do. I call for another pick and check out the CPU out here flopping. I didn't even do anything. I had to pull that jumper. We all know that the mid range is just so money. You see this in the rec videos. So, of course, it's money in my career also. So I'm on the court with Ricky Rubio. You know I don't like this, but I'm going to try to make it work. Shot clock winded down. I'm taking this all the way. I mean, look at the tough finish. MJ liked just a little bit. You got to give it to me. That was a nice finish right there. I'm not sure how that wasn't a foul, but it's all good because the ball went in the hoop. Oh, a piece of candy. I'm getting the on-ball steal. You know, I'm tossing that back to my boy. A. Wiggins going in for the alley-oop. I always look for A. Wiggins on the break. I mean, just look at the way he punched it in, dog. Like, me and A. Wiggins... We might be a dynamic duo low-key. I'm just saying. We find each other on the oops. I have diamonds, so now I can hook them up on them three-pointers. I believe this squad can go all the way. We can win that championship. So once again, they bring the double team. So I have to let Wiggins go to work, and he's going to force it in right here. Just getting the job done, Wiggins. I see you. And to be real with you, 
I cannot believe how easy this game was. And really, the game is easier now post-patch because like I said before, for the most part, your teammates will make the shots they're supposed to make and the CPU will miss the shots they're supposed to miss. So now you don't have that much BS going on. I mean, there's still some WTF moments, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, it's not nearly as much as it was before. Overall, I really like patch three, whether it comes from the wreck or my career, I just like the gameplay of patch three. The only thing I don't like is I can't change my shoes. Like, can I change my shoes, please? But anyways, bringing the ball up court, we just clowning right now. You see me trying to go in for another dump, but peep this. Ian Mahimi, Mahimi see Anemone, I don't know how to say his name, but he's so salty, man. You know why he did that to me, right? He tired of getting dumped on. He tired of catching this work. I don't blame him. I really don't. So you got to send me to the line. So I'm going to knock down these two flagrant free throws. Like I said before, you see the free throw meter now. So you know this is post-patch. I'm ready to show off some of this gameplay, man. I'm ready to show off my new style of playing my career. So this possession was actually pretty funny. Because I'm going to pass it to my teammate. And look at his shot. It just, ugh. Like, I mean, it went in. I can't be mad at you. I can't be mad at Sean Marion, but this shot is so terrible. He's a dude named Rodgers, and I see this generated rookie all over the place, and he has the same shot on everybody's my career. Like, to me, he looks like a praying mantis when he shoots the ball. I mean, I'm going to show his shot one more time on this possession. It's just so terrible. It's so ugly. Like, you can't be on my wolves and shooting like that. Well, actually, you can if it goes in, but it's just so just terrible. Look at this. Look, praying mantis style, just fling it at the rim. That shot is worse than Sean Marion's. But anyways, we get a nice win versus the Pacers right here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I can't wait to get some more gameplay out to you guys. Peace.